One of the best things about Keynote on iOS is the ability to be able to create really amazing magic moves that are much wider than the screen. So here we're going to use a pinch to zoom out and then we're going to change that rectangle at the bottom into a really long road that fills up the whole screen. Here we are changing it into a grey tarmac -y road. Now in the background we're going to fill up the space with a skyline and sure enough in the shapes tool there is a skyline there. So I'm going to put that in, I'm going to format it to change it into a black colour so it looks more silhouetted and then I'm going to copy and paste it several times. This allows me to drag it over the top of it and create our own unique skyline. I'm then going to hold down one of the shapes and click all the others including the road to be able to create a group, one image that I can move around. And then I'm going to move it so it's right on the edge of the slide. Now clicking on the slide, click transition, apply a magic move duplicating the slide and then on slide two move that skyline to the opposite end. Now at this particular point I can then play it and we can see how fast we can move along the skyline. But of course we know that we can change the length of the magic move. So going into options we can change it to just over nine seconds. And now the fun bit, we're going to add in a bus. Here comes the bus from the shapes. We're going to format it so it's a red bus and then we're going to copy it and paste it onto the second slide, moving it to the other end of the slide. It will take nine seconds to move there. So when we press play, you can see the wheels on the bus going round and round. It's almost like you could sing a song as it's moving through the screen.